It's been a while and it is that time again where a fundraiser is in order to help me continue receiving the Lyme treatment that I so desperately need. This year marks year eight that I've been battling chronic Lyme disease, otherwise known as late stage Lyme. And there's still a lot of confusion. There's a lot of things that, a lot of truths that aren't being told. Um, the reason why Lyme is next to impossible to cure once it gets to this stage I and thousands of others are in is because there are at least 300 strains of the disease. Most people are under the misconception that it's just Lyme disease. No, no. With every tick comes different diseases. Whatever else that tick is infected with, malaria, West Nile virus, Zika, Babesia, Bartonella. I unfortunately contracted Bartonella and Babesia, which I've been told are actually worse than Lyme disease. Babesia attacks your heart. It gives you cardiovascular issues. And currently that's what I have been experiencing. Um, sometimes it can last for a day or a week months. I was experiencing it for years until I seen my Lyme doctor where you are in permanent tachycardia. Normal heart rate 72, mine jumps up to 147 and that can last literally for weeks to months. Um, you can't sleep because your whole body's shaking and vibrating because uh, your heart's beating so fast. Uh, it's like you're running uh, on a treadmill and you're sleeping, laying in bed still, quiet, calm, relaxed, listening to serene music meditating, doesn't matter. I have two other important heart tests coming up later in the year and hopefully that'll reel that out. I'm gonna begin a new medication which is always scary um, to treat the Babesia. I'm allergic to 95% of the antibiotics. This is why it is so hard for me to beat Lyme. The trick to beating Lyme is to switch up the antibiotics every three to six months, and that tricks the disease and it kills it. I've been on the same antibiotics for years because every time we try a new one, I end up having to call 911 due to severe allergic reactions. So the new medication I'm trying actually, that I'm uh, gonna try, is uh, more expensive than all of my Lyme medication combined. Um, it's not covered, so every time I go to the US, which is four times a year, nothing's covered. The antibiotics, the herbal medications, the tinctures, the drops, um, powders, vitamins, it's thousands upon thousands of dollars. I have no help from my family. Um, I've been on my own forever. I live alone. There's no emergency contact. It's really scary. I rely on my internet family, which is the most beautiful family I could ever wish for. There's too many people to mention who have been there from the beginning and who have just entered my life. Um, the government in Canada doesn't help you. Um, so you have to do fundraisers. You have to swallow your pride and ask friends and acquaintances and strangers to help you out of the goodness of their heart. Do you know how scary it is to live every day with Lyme, Babesia, Bartonella, God knows what else? Have these symptoms come up where you think you're dying or the pain is so horrific you can't even move or function, knowing there's nowhere in Canada you can go for help. The ER, the hospital doesn't, they can't help you because they don't know Lyme. You go to see a cardiologist, they can't help you because they're not a Lyme cardiologist. I mean, there's, every doctor I have is wonderful, but no one in Canada is educated. My Lyme doctor had Lyme, she's a Canadian. And because it's illegal to treat it here, she practices in New York. Thank God for her, because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. So, I have a very scary road ahead of me to begin three new protocols in hopes that finally this time will be the time, will be the one that 
put slime in remission. There is no cure. It's kind of like cancer, you know. Um, cancer, you have the chemo and the radiation, but with Lyme, you have the heavy cocktail of antibiotics, so heavy that you have to get your blood tested every month at least uh, to monitor your organs to make sure they're not going into failure. Um, so fingers crossed, this time it helps. I think the hardest part of it all is sitting indoors inside your mind. Um, that's, that's the hardest part. Um, for those of you who know me, know wildlife is my passion. Photography, owls save my world. They're the reason why I wake up every morning and I haven't been able to even lift my camera or go out in nature in over a hundred days. So with that being said, thank you to everyone who helps. Thank you for the positivity and light you shine into my world. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you most of all for your prayers. I really believe in the power of prayer. Thank you for sharing my fundraiser and for those who donate. I wish you love and light. Thank you.